Hi everyone, my name is Alex Neufeld. I am an aspiring fashion designer and today I'm speaking to you from Pearson Airport because I'm on my way to Los Angeles to attend LA Textile. So why am I going to LA Textile? Well, I'm going because I am launching my own line and you can follow me on Instagram if you want more information about that. But the reality is that as a new designer, it can be very difficult to source fabrics. You can't just waltz into like Joanne Fabrics and source your fabrics from there because first of all, they're probably not gonna have what you need. And second of all, you need the fabrics to be available for a really long time to get you through the development of your first prototypes all the way to production. And that can take several months. If you're buying fabric from a retail store, the fabric that you want might be available initially so you buy it, make a sample with it, and then the next week it's gone and you're screwed. For this and other reasons, it's very important for fashion designers to buy wholesale. But wholesalers aren't like restaurants where you can just Google them and a bunch of results will come up. A lot of wholesalers have, frankly, not much of a web presence. And if you don't have the connections in the industry, it can be very difficult for you to find the fabrics that you need. In my case, I'm also trying to find fabrics that do not contain fossil fuel derived fibers, so like polyester and nylon, unless they're recycled, which I'm okay with. Um, so yeah, that'll be a challenge as well. All that to say, I'm really excited to see what LA Textile has in store. And we're here. All right, I'm inside and guys, this is so cool, but also huge and overwhelming and I'm a bit nervous to talk to people. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find my fashion business coach. Her name is Christine. Christine is an experienced fashion designer and entrepreneur, and she runs an online fashion business course called the Fashion Startup Intensive, which I am a student of. I found her. This is Christine from Fashion Angel Warrior. Christine, I was wondering if you could give one piece of advice to new designers who want to start their own line but don't know where to begin, what would it be? So 100% my number one piece of advice is work with a coach or mentor that has been where you want to be and is actually getting their clients results. There are a lot of people that are trying to help new designers, but they don't have the right background, they don't have the right experience, and they're not actually getting their clients results. So look at their Google reviews. We have over 60 five-star Google reviews on our Google page. Look at their social media. Look at the clients. Interview their past clients if you have to, just to really make sure that they're actually getting their clients results. And this is what's gonna help you trajectory of your business like through the roof it will skyrocket your business because you have first-hand experience and knowledge of someone that has been where you want to be that's willing to help take you there and they have the right context and resources to get you there great advice from christine so now i'm going to talk with the folks at material exchange which is an innovative and free sourcing platform that can help brands big and small find fabrics for their collections I'm here with Morgan from Material Exchange. Morgan, how can Material Exchange help new designers source their fabrics? Yeah, so essentially uh, Material Exchange provides some sourcing help. We blend the digital with the uh, personal touch and basically you tell us what you're looking for and we can kind of source that for you. So a sales executive would put together a digital showroom for you with whatever materials fit your needs where you can then um, compare and contrast different materials, their prices, their MOQs, and then place either a sample or bulk order through our site. That's really cool. And my understanding is that it's free for the designers to use, right? So we work off a of commission. So it's free to source on, and then we make the money through sample order or a bulk order. I'm really grateful to Morgan and Christine for taking the time to talk to me, and now I'm gonna go talk to fabric vendors. What a lot of people don't understand about textile trade shows is that generally you're not buying fabric while you're there. You're browsing through the racks, looking at the swatches, you ask any questions you have to the vendors at the booth, and then you order swatches, which generally are free to do if you attend the trade show, whereas if you don't attend the trade show, it costs usually a couple bucks for swatch and then you pay shipping. And then when you get home, you look at the swatches with fresh eyes and then you place your orders. All right, I made it home now and I ordered swatches from three vendors. So my Kendor swatches have arrived already. I'm impressed by how fast they are. So let's have a look at those. So I've got this beautiful scuba and this beautiful Ponty from Kendor. They're both very stable. So they have just the right amount of stretch for what I wanna make. I wanna do like blazers and pants that have a little bit of stretch to them, but not too much. So they're really good for that. They also come in a variety of really cute colors. The only thing I'm not loving is the pretty high percentage of fossil fuel derived fibers polyester and nylon, and of course spandex in both of these. I would consider this to be a more eco-friendly choice than some of the options out there due to the Tencel and Echo Vero, um, but that said, I'm still not loving the other things. 
That said, Kendor did say that they are attempting to make a Ponty that doesn't have nylon in it, so that's really exciting, and I'm looking forward to seeing that in future. The other two places that I ordered swatches from are Zenman Textiles and Gordon Fabrics, and I'll make a post on Instagram when those come in. And then lastly, there is Telio Fabrics based in Montreal, which I haven't ordered swatches from yet because there were so many gorgeous fabrics that I couldn't choose, but I will order swatches from them soon. So that's the end of my LA textile vlog. For the remainder of my trip in LA, I did some sightseeing. I reconnected with someone from back home that I hadn't seen in many years, so that was very nice. And I just generally enjoyed seeing sunshine and flowers and not wearing winter boots in February. That's all for today, folks. If you're a fashion geek like me, then I suspect you're gonna like my videos that I post on here, so subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss them, and I'll see you in the next video.